Well, guys, you remember the age-old joke of Pikachu having a gun? Funny stuff. Ha. Huh. But yeah, it finally happened. So, Power World is here. And what do I have to say about it? It is not the Pokemon killer that people think it is. Um, now, I actually want to get this out right through the gate. I think Power World is a super cool game. Um, I really, really like that there is a creature catching game similar to Ark that now has a Pokemon element to it. However, I am going to be very real. I have done a lot of research into this company. I have done a lot of research into Power World itself. And let's just say there are unfortunately a lot of blatantly stolen designs. They clearly just took certain Pokemon, ran them through an AI filter to see what an AI filter would think of them, and went with that. Um, the game unfortunately reeks of asset flipping it again today as well. But uh, like I said, overall, if this game didn't cost what it did, I think it would be kind of worth checking out. I mean, it is worth checking out. But this is not the kind of game that um, will kill an entire franchise simply by existing. So let's get into some of the key points here. I'm not going to do like cuts to Power World gameplay or anything like that. This is going to be a very short video. It's just my opinion, honestly. Um, so obviously, we have all seen the pictures of the Pokemon from Power World being compared to actual assets from Pokemon Sword and Shield. That is a massive problem, and I think that more than anything is going to get them in trouble with Nintendo, simply because, let's be very real, you can hate Pokemon all you want, but you can't decline that there are very clear assets, text, textures ripped directly from Pokemon Sword and Shield and slapped onto their models. Now, obviously, we've seen the Galarian Meowth's face. There is a Giratina face that has been placed on one of the pals. Um, obviously, there are a lot of similarities, but as much as people like to yell plagiarism there, there's no direct proof. And let's be real, there's other games like Cassette Beasts and many other Pokemon as clones. I just noticed one of these strings is really long and the other one isn't. That's upsetting. Um, while the other, there are other games out there like Coromon, Nexomon, uh, Temtem, which all have monsters that look very similar to Pokemon, so there is nothing wrong with basing it off of, but there are some very obvious theft choices here. I actually think they stole uh, other people's fake Pokemon designs. Uh, fans, well, I don't want to say fake, I feel like that's a little mean way to describe it. They stole people's fan Pokemon designs, fan regional designs, and turned them into their own monsters. They also, oh yeah, they also stole Slowbro's face, which I think is really comical, because out of all the Pokemon, why would you steal Slowbro's face to put on a random, what is like a gulp in Pokemon's body? Um, it's funny. I'm gonna be real with you. Uh, this, uh, and I know why this game is so popular. Um, let's be real, Pokemon fans. Pokemon needs to break out of its shell and have more games similar to PLA where it kind of breaks the mold and it tries something new. And I'm going to be real here. A Pokemon survival game is something that people have wanted for a very long time, myself included. And this simply fills the gap for the niche that Game Freak refuses to fill. And until Game Freak realizes that them refusing to do what the Pokemon community wants, another guy is going to come along and they're going to make another creature catching game similar to a different genre. And more people are going to start branching out to that. And that is where brand franchise loyalty will start to diminish. I mean, Power World shows already that people are willing to jump ship. The second something, I hate to say this, something a little more polished than Scarlet and Violet comes to surface that's similar enough to Pokemon and enjoyable. So, Game Freak really needs to take notes here. Um, again, I don't think this is going to kill Pokemon. In fact, I don't even think it's going to really harm the franchise in any way, shape, or form. I think Pal World is extremely healthy competition for Game Freak, and I actually really hope that Game Freak will take um, a look at this and realize that people want better Pokemon games and Pokemon games need to stop being a direct afterthought in the franchise and maybe moved up a few tiers because let's be real, uh, 
I get it, multimedia franchise. It's all about the toys, the toys, the toys. Selling toys to the kids. But you need a game to sell, to base the toys off of. You need people to buy the game for it to be popular. And Scarlet and Violet, while it was a fun game, it's extremely unpolished, and they need to do better. Um, and I think if they made a... like, I think, uh, re realistically, if Nintendo does improve hardware on the next one, I feel like Pokemon should try something similar to Pal World. It doesn't have to be an exact copy. Like, for instance, I actually think this could lean very well into a Pokemon Legends Arceus sequel that has some kind of makeshift firearms or allows you to use your Pokemon as makeshift firearms like they do in Pal World. And um, I feel like, while, again, this will not kill the franchise, I feel like this is a great wake-up call for Game Freak. And, uh, hey, what can I say? Um, Power World ain't going anywhere unless they directly sue for the, um, the asset, uh, the very obvious texture theft. Um, that's the only thing I can really see getting them in trouble. I don't think that uh, inspirational designs will have any will hold any water in court. Sorry to say that, guys. I know a lot of people are, like, really, really hanging on, especially especially hardcore Pokemon fans are hanging on to this game, getting sued into Oblivion by Nintendo or Game Freak, and it could. It's very possible that it could, but I'm not going to hold my breath for that one. I personally think this game is going to fizzle out as fast as it came in. Unfortunately, most survival games like this, they're all the same. And if they don't continue to keep it interesting, it's going to go away really quick. Um, but again, we guess that one I can't really predict, and uh, we will see. I could be wrong, we will see. Um, honestly, I have not much more to say here. Um, Power World, not a Pokemon ripoff. Not a Pokemon killer, though, either. Um, and it should be a nice uh, splash of cold water on Game Freak's face, and hopefully Game Freak will see the success of Power World and start trying new things with Pokemon. Um, that's all I got to say about this topic, guys. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, please like and subscribe. Share my video if you haven't already. I really, really appreciate when you guys do that. And it makes my day, and it encourages me to make more content. So please, guys, if you could do that for me, I appreciate every single one of you out there all around the world, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out, everyone.